Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to deal with the fifth lesson, The Little Girl by Catherine Mansfield. Catherine Mansfield was a very famous writer from New Zealand. Okay, and this, uh, this is a story about a little girl. Now look into the textbook. The Little Girl. So before uh, look at the introduction part do you feel you know your parents better now than when you were much younger okay that means can you understand your parents better now than when you were a little child or when uh, you are you were much younger okay perhaps you now understand the reasons for some of their actions that used to upset you earlier. So, when we were small kids, our parents might have scolded us, beat us, isn't it? When you were small kids, if you do, if you have done any mistake or any wrong thing, your parents, your father or your mother, they, may, uh, they might be punished you, isn't it? At that time, you may be felt angry towards them or you may be upset thinking that why my uh, father did so or why did my mother do so. Thinking like that. Okay. At that time, you cannot understand why your parents have done so. But now you are grown up, isn't it? Now you are 15 or 14 years of age. Now you can Think or now you can understand the reasons why your parents uh, did so, isn't it? Okay. So, so when we are grow, when we grow up, we can understand our parents better. Okay. They have done so. They have scolded us. They have. Uh, they might have scolded us. They might have beat us. It is for our betterment. It is to teach us good manners or it is to teach us what is right and what is wrong it is their duty to do so that's why they are doing like that okay uh, that we can understand now because we are grown-ups isn't it but when we were too young we could not understand that okay we may we might have felt angry to them or we might be feared of them isn't it now look at the story the story about a little girl whose feelings for her father change from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in every home in the story. This little girl also. First she feared her father. Then later she understands, uh, understands the love of her father. Okay. This is an echo in every home means in all of our houses, our parents uh, might be like that. Our parents uh, uh, are like that. Okay, they will scold us. Uh, they will beat us if we do any wrong things. Okay, it is for our betterment. Okay, got it? Now look at the story. To the little girl, he was a figure to be feared and avoided. So according to the uh, girl, the little girl, her father is a figure to be feared and avoided. She always uh, fears her father. She is afraid of her father and she always wanted to avoid her father. Every morning before going to work, he came into her room and gave her a casual kiss. So before going to work, her father will uh, come her room and give her a gives her her casual kiss and for that kiss he re, she replied goodbye father okay to which she responded with goodbye father when her so she knows what it is time for her father to go to the office so she will say that goodbye father and oh there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of the carriage growing fainter and fainter down the long road. So, whenever her father leaves the house, she became very happy. She 
feels a sense of relief okay she became relaxed and she became very glad he, glad hearing the noise coming less that means the carriage growing fainter and fainter means the carriage or the vehicle that uh, goes when it go far away the sound become lesser and lesser isn't it at that time she feels very happy because her father has gone away in the evening when she when he came home she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall so in the evening when he uh, comes back home she will stand near the staircase and she could hear the loud voice uh, of her father when he enters into the hall he will say loudly what bring my tea into the drawing room as in the purpose come yet mother go and see if my papers out there and bring me my slippers whenever he came home he orders to bring the uh, tea to the drawing room and he orders his uh, mother to bring the papers also and uh, papers and slippers also slippers means chappals okay kezia mother would call to her if you are a good girl you can come down and take off father's boots and kezia her uh, mother will call her if you are if you are a good girl you can come down and take off father's boots take off means you can remove father's boots slowly the girl would slip down the stairs okay slip down means come down quietly and unwillingly she is not ready to come there but her when her mother calls she have to go there no when our parents calls we have to uh, go near them so she uh, steps down very slowly and unwillingly okay and when he comes to the hall she become more slowly and push open the drawing room door okay she is not she do not want to come there but she will come okay very slowly by that time he had his spectacles on and looked at her over them in a way that was ter terrifying to the little girl so when she comes her father will look her through his spectacles and that look was so terrifying for the little girl well kezia hurry up and pull off, pull off these boots and take them outside have you been a good girl today and he is asking his daughter what well kezia hurry up hurry up kezia why are you coming so slowly okay pull off these boots okay take off those boots and take them outside put them outside have you been a good girl today i did, did don't know father so she will began to stutter i did, did don't know father stuttering means a uh, difficulty to speak the first letter of words okay i did, did don't know father you did, did don't know if you stutter like that mother will have to take you to the doctor if you stutter like that again your mother will take you to the doctor she never stuttered with other people okay actually she hasn't any such uh, problem okay she never stuttered in front of other people had quite given it up but only with father because she stutter only in front of her she stutters only in front of her father it is because of that fear okay because then she was trying so hard to say the words properly she stutters because why she is uh, she is try, uh, trying to say the words properly correctly so she stutters okay she is very conscious uh, about uh, to say the words correctly and she is feared also she is afraid of her father also so she stutters what's the matter what are you looking so wretched about so her father again asking what's the matter what's wrong with you what are you looking so wretched about why are you so unhappy wretched means unhappy why are you so unhappy mother i wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink of suicide on the brink of suicide means about to commit suicide if the girl is uh, so he says his mother 
Kesia's grandmother. Okay. If the girl is so unhappy, she will commit suicide one day. So she, you should be very careful. You, you should uh, teach her what, uh, how to be happy and all. Okay. To have good manners and all, you should teach the child. Here, Kezia, carry my teacup back to the table carefully. Now, Kezia, put this teacup back to the table very carefully. He was so big, his hands and his neck, especially his mouth when he yawned. Thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant. So, whenever he talks, Kezia is observing, his, observing her father. Okay. He was so big. He, she feels that her father is so big. He has big hands and big neck. And when we yawn, what is yawning? Uh, when you become sleepy, you will begin to yawn. So when, sorry, yawn. Okay. When you feel sleepy, you will begin to yawn. So when he yawned, his mouth also looks so big. So thinking about him just like thinking about a giant for that girl. One Sunday afternoon, grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father and mother. So, on Sundays, her father will be there. It is a holy day. So, her father and mother will be sitting in the drawing room talking. So, her grandmother, what her grandmother do? Grandmother does. She says Kezia to go down and have a nice talk with her father and mother. But the little girl always found mother reading and father stretched out on the sofa. So whenever she goes there, what she sees, uh, her mother may, uh, may be reading the newspapers and all. And her father stretched out. Stretched out means lying. Okay, lying on the sofa. His handkerchief on his face. His feet on one of the best cushions. Sleeping soundly and snoring okay so uh, he may be lying there covering his head with covering his face with the handkerchief and uh, she uh, he uh, may be sleeping soundly and snoring okay so uh, her mother was reading and her, her father was sleeping whenever she uh, comes to talk with them she sat on the stool, gravely watched him until he woke and stretched and asked the time, then looked at her. So she waited there. Okay, she sat on a stool uh, watching uh, her father sleeping until uh, he woke. Okay, he woke and stretched means what? Uh, uh, what? Stretching our hands and legs after sleep and then he will ask the time and then looked at her okay after that uh, he looked at her daughter sorry he looked at his daughter don't stare so kezia you you look like a little brown owl so when he uh, saw her what did he say don't stare so kezia don't look like that kezia you look like a owl if you look like that you are just like an uh, just like a brown owl so he she has in a nice experience with her father okay one day when she was kept indoors with a cold her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week okay so one day she was suffering from cold and she was kept indoors okay uh, she didn't get any permission to go out she is staying inside the house and at that time, grandmother told her that next week, her father's, her father's birthday was on next week. And suggested she should make him a pin cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk. So, her grandmother suggested her that uh, she should uh, what prepare or she should make a gift for him. Okay, what is the gift? A cushion, a, a pin cushion. Uh, and the, uh, her grandmother gave a piece of yellow silk also. Okay. Laboriously with a double cotton, the little girl stitched three sides. So, the pincushion may be in a rectangular shape. Okay. Like this. So,
so she stitched the three sides then one side she left laboriously means with a lot of effort okay working hard she stitched the three sides and left the one side open for uh, through that we want to fill that cushion okay but what to fill it with so her doubt was what to fill it with okay that was a question the grandmother was out in the garden okay the in order to ask the grandmother but uh, she is out in the garden and she wandered into mother's bedroom and looked for scraps what is the meaning scraps scraps means unwanted things or, or the pieces of unwanted papers or clothes like that small pieces of unwanted things okay so she wandered wandered means she searched or she was walking through her mother's bedroom uh, looking for scraps on the bed table she discovered a great many sheets of fine paper gathered them up tore them into tiny pieces and stuffed her case then sewed up the fourth side so when she went to her mother's room she saw on the bed table that so many uh, sheets of papers she gathered them all she took them all and tore that into small pieces tore means tear okay she tore that the papers into small small pieces and stuffed she filled that uh, pin cushion with this paper and stitched and the, she stitched the fourth side also okay that night there was a human cry in the house okay father's great speech for the port authority had been lost at that night there was total what uh, shouting and hearing in the house okay angry uh, shouts everything she can hear why because her father's great speech for port authority had been lost okay her assignment uh, some of uh, uh, one of his speech for uh, his uh, office it is lost rooms were searched they searched all the rooms servants questions uh, uh, father and mother called the servants and questioned them Finally, mother came into Kezia's room. So they were all, all, all of them are searching for that papers. And actually, who took the papers? Yes, it was taken by Kezia. It was one of the important papers for her father. Okay, in his working place. It is, it is a speech. Okay, so prepared by her father. And she took it and uh, all of all the other people in the house were searching for that paper and finally Kezia's mother came into Kezia's room okay so this is the first part of the story let's stop here and the next part we will uh, discuss in the next class okay let's uh, what let's have a uh, look what is happening next that we'll discuss in the next class okay thank you